Many prototype Apple devices are sold by people who have no clue what the hell they're selling. They just see a device that doesn't work and they sell it for parts. Today we're going to be looking at one such device. An iPhone that was sold as for parts or repairs, but in reality is a prototype Apple device. Before we get into the more technical details about what this prototype actually is, allow me to give a brief overview of how this prototype even managed to get in my possession in the first place. In Shenzhen, a city located in China, there are a number of recycling facilities that can, on rare occasion, get Apple prototypes. Unfortunately, Many prototypes that enter such recycling facilities aren't recognized as prototypes and often get scrapped for their base parts. This prototype iPhone was almost a perfect textbook example of a device that wasn't recognized as prototype and could have been scrapped. As the story goes, the original buyer of this prototype was wandering the market in Shenzhen, one known to on occasion sell factory rejects and have prototype hardware. The iPhone itself was being sold with multiple other non-prototype devices in a parts lot, as you might find on eBay, with the vendor having no clue what they actually have. The guy then purchased the lot and offered it to me. The prototype itself is of the Product Validation Testing Engineering Stage, or PVTE for short. This better explains as to why this prototype runs normal iOS but also has the engraving on the screen and the engraving on the housing. Unfortunately, the iPhone itself doesn't actually have a prototype operating system, most likely because whoever used this phone actually used it as a phone. But nonetheless, this prototype is still a marvel as a collector's piece. As is common with Apple development devices, the serial number of this iPhone does not show up on Apple.com. The model number of this iPhone starts with 933, indicating that the board inside is developmental in nature. My favorite part about this prototype is the backstory behind it. If someone unknowing to the fact that the device's prototype had purchased it, it could have very easily been reduced to nothing but parts. But the original buyer just so happened to be at the right place at the right time, saving it and allowing it to now be a part of my collection.